These tips have allowed me to go from spending days on a video to just under 24 hours. Here's how. Perhaps the most valuable advice I can give from this video is organization. Now don't click off because most of you are going to be thinking right now, yeah this is pretty common knowledge but it's such a useful thing. And one that most of you will hear but never actually take action on. If you have very unorganized files everywhere like I used to, it'd be worth creating folders like so. A music folder, sound effects folder, green screens, and a footage folder. If you want to make more folders that is perfectly fine, but this is just a baseline for folders you should 100% have without a doubt. Be warned it might be a lengthy process depending on how much files you have downloaded on your computer, however the result is very much worth it. No more scouring for files on your computer, instead every time you download something, cut and paste into your sorted files and I promise you it will save you a lot of time when there's something you need while editing, especially if it's a big project. You guys would not believe how many times I've watched videos on editing faster or just video editing in general where people tell you to color code your clips. Maybe this is an unpopular opinion, but it's a waste of time. In my time of editing, I have not once color coded clips because the process of clicking over your clips and choosing a color for them has never helped me stay more organized than if I left my footage blank as I usually do. Unless if you are working on a big budget project like maybe a film or documentary, then color coding your footage can be very useful as you have a lot of b-roll to work with but if you are like me editing a regular old-fashioned youtube video color coding your clips will hold you back especially if you have a deadline to meet or have a frequent upload schedule I know so many of you editors out there start editing a video and trim all your footage and then you start dreading the process of finding music. One, because you're either tired of using the same song every video or just simply haven't created a playlist because you don't know where to look. Here's three easy solutions. Epidemic Sound. I'm sure most people have heard of Epidemic Sound from other channels but it's recommended for a reason. It isn't free but guess what? You can still browse their music. Sure on Epidemic it is more organized and gives you the options like separating instruments on specific songs. However, if you don't want to spend money just yet, you can head over to Epidemic's YouTube channel where they have all their music and playlists sorted for you. The other option is my music playlist. I personally no longer use this, but I did gather quite a bit of gems you'll find useful if you're looking for a song to save your video. There's over 250 plus tracks and most of which you've heard at least once, so if there's something that you've been looking to find for some time now, go have a look. The best piece of advice I can give to anyone with music is just to make your own playlist. The more and more you edit, you'll find that you become more open to all types of different music, so when you discover a song you like, save it. How do I get better at video editing? Like anything else in life, if you want to get better at it, you must consistently do it to see improvement, and the same thing is with video editing. To improve your skills and to become faster, you should just edit as much as you can. Truly, only with time you can learn what works in a video and what doesn't. Often the question someone might ask right after this is where do I get the footage from? Believe it or not, the entire internet is your footage. The internet provides you with every type of footage imaginable to work with, so it is really up to you to find what you want to work with. Or you can start with the simplest form possible which is just to record yourself. It will give you more control over the footage you get to work with and will release some of your most creative ideas. I think structure is one of the less talked about differences between big YouTubers and those trying to cross over into that territory. What smaller YouTubers don't do much of is plan out how their video is going to flow. Here's an example of what I mean by that. Look at CypherPK's channel. As both a Twitch streamer and YouTuber, on his Twitch streams, he just records his videos live. If Cypher wants to record a challenge video, then he'll just make sure to focus his attention towards completing that challenge for a portion of the stream. And now he already has footage ready to send to his editor. It's a great way to plan out content because he goes in knowing exactly the type of footage he wants to record. Another good example is content where you may be forced to interact with people. Maybe you can't control what somebody might say, but you sure can keep recording until you are satisfied with the right footage for your video. I mean, hey, I'm planning this video out right now because I'm scripting it. Getting better software, whether that's on a computer or phone, can drastically improve your productivity and creativity. By investing in better software, you greatly reduce the risk of freezing or crashing, and I think we've all been there once or twice, so you definitely know how annoying it can be. If you're looking to upgrade your computer, there's three main components to focus on. Your GPU, CPU, and RAM. So I don't bore you, I won't cover what all these do, but they are the three main parts that drastically make the difference in render time. Personally, these are my specs on the screen, not the best, but hey, I've never had massive problems with running pretty intense projects. So this definitely is something to look into. 
power of AI in video editing is incredible and I'd like to talk about a really really powerful free tool that you can use and that's Runway ML. No this video is not sponsored by the company but I find the AI to be one of the best so I would really really like to talk about it. Like I said Runway is completely free and here's some of its AI features. It allows you to generate a video out of words and images, automatically remove backgrounds, remove objects from videos for you and so so much more. Here's a video I made using Runway's AI object remover in just a couple minutes and when you combine softwares like After Effects or Blender, the possibilities with this are truly limited to your creativity. Flow is so important to not only getting a good product, but also putting yourself in the right mindset to finish a video. Every editor has their own idea of flow, and what I mean when I refer to flow is your order of operations. Do you trim first? Do you grab music first? Or maybe do you get your music last? I think the ideal order for editing is to trim your footage, add music, and then go back and add edits, subtitles, zoom ins, all that good stuff. Maybe once you trim your footage, there's some edits that you really, really want to do before you forget. If that's what you want to do, then go and do it. Everyone has a different way of editing video, so I highly encourage you to try different sequences of video editing and to pay attention to how fast you got it done, the quality of the video compared to others, and how it performed. But most importantly, how did you feel after you completed it? Anybody who plays video games fairly consistently knows how important keybinds are to your own success and video editing should be thought of the same way. When video editing, if you're not using keyboard shortcuts, then you are holding yourself back massively. I'll be the first to admit that keyboard shortcuts seem like such a small thing that it's not even worth messing with, but when you add up all those seconds of time clicking the toolbar instead of pressing a key, it takes up more time than you would realize. This is more of a tip for new editors, but even if you've been editing for a long time and have gotten to the habit of not using keyboard shortcuts, you definitely should. Even something as little as learning the keys for cutting and deleting can speed up your editing a lot. A criminally underrated part of using your computer is mouse speed. Of course you don't want to choose a speed that's too fast, but it's definitely worth going into your settings and trying to raise your mouse speed if you want to save a bit of time on your computer. I'm hosting an editing competition here very soon and you're invited with 99% free entry. What happened to the other 1%? The editing competition I'm hosting can't start until my Discord server reaches 1,000 members, which is very, very close to reaching. So I need your help in reaching 1,000 members so I can finally announce the start of the competition. So if you'd like to compete for a possible prize of $50, make sure to join my Discord and subscribe to the channel. The link in the description, by the way. With all this being said, I hope the video helped you and definitely check out this video if you want to learn the fastest way to subtitle your footage.